Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and they recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first to be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, we'll start with our exhibits, which is not actually a secular exhibit, but a religious exhibit for the purpose of helping people meditate on the mysteries of the life of Christ through images and liturgical beauty. That's why I suggest that associations in our parish and ministries and councils may conduct or hold their Lenten recollection by coming together and then meditate before a particular image of your choice which resonates in your heart, in your soul to help you examine your conscience and experience God's love and forgiveness. So you move around as a group or even as individual or families. It's not only appreciating the beauty, the raw beauty, but appreciating the religious beauty and the meaning of this beauty, which is our salvation history. When God created the world, He unleashed three transcendentals. We call these transcendentals or universals, meaning applicable to all people in all places at all times because he created things that are not applicable to all and every time. But there are three things applicable from the beginning of time until the end. This is what we call the truth, goodness, and beauty. That's why we have in philosophy 
a uh, identification of this true, good, and beautiful. If you want some technical terms, you call this logos, ethos, and pathos. Logos is the truth. It fills the mind. It satisfies the mind part. Pathos is emotion, heart. It satisfies the heart dimension, the beauty dimension. And then ethos, from which ethics comes, is the action, the morality, the hand, the feet part. That's why when he created the world, he wants to satisfy and fill fulfill, so to say, humanity with his truth, with his love, goodness, and with beauty. True good and beautiful. That's why in the church, we address three, these three things. Truth in our catechesis, in our homilies. Ethos in our guidelines, moral guidelines, the way we live and pathos in liturgical beauty. That's why we have some signs here of beauty, liturgical beauty, because we want to be satisfied. Something in us, a part of us will be satisfied by the beauty of the Lord. Of course, the central of ethos, logos, pathos is Christ. That's why you notice, you start from here, and then you move around until you end up with the mystery of the resurrection. Ang pagkabanhaw daw adlaw sa aton kabuhi. Gina-appreciate nato ng pagkabanhaw itself. Pero gina-appreciate nato ng iya light nga naghatag sang logos, ethos, pathos sa aton kabuhi. Wala mo lang gina-appreciate ang adlaw itself. Gina-appreciate mo because through its light, you will be able to see realities. Kung mapatay ang adlaw, hindi kita kikita sang realities. The same sa resurrection ni Christ. Amo ini ang naghatag sang light sa reality sang life, meaning sa life. Ula resurrection will not be able to understand death, will not be able to understand suffering, will not be able to understand the seeming victory of evil over good, will not be able to understand pain and sacrifices. But because of this resurrection, kaangay sa sang adlaw, gina appreciate naton, gina celebrate ta, pero wala lang in itself ang resurrection kundi naghatag siya kahulugan sa bugos nga kabuhi that's why dirita na naghalin ang meaning ini si san pedro si san simon tanan mother mary kagun sino dira ang meaning sina may meaning na may beauty na because naga coordinate naga relate sila sa resurrection of Christ. That means, ang beauty nga tuntuod is beauty when it reveals the beauty of God and when it manifests the power and the beauty of God. Wala sang beauty sa babae nga nagauba. Wala sang beauty sa binastos wala sang beauty sa beauty pageant namin ko beauty nga gin-define ko ha uh, beauty yati may beauty man na sa ibang nga definition pero ang gina-define ko nga beauty is gin-unleash nga beauty ni Lord ni God ang gin-unleash nga beauty which is harmony sa iya nga mystery 
That's why ang beautiful music is a music which is religious. Because it reveals God's power, God's goodness. Beauty, sang art, is always sacred art. Tanawang Europe, sang una, golden age nila, sacred art. Galing nagsulod ng mga advertisement nga binastos, kundi guba sila. Ang beauty ya related gid sa Dios. Kag naga elicit sang goodness sa tawo. That is beauty. Pero kung pagtan-aw mo gabastos ka, nagalaw-ay ka, gabayolente ka, that's not beauty. Pero kung magtan-aw ka beauty, nagagahinulsol ka, nagapure ka, nagatinlo ka, nagagood ikaw, nagamaayo ka, nagagenerous ikaw, nagaforgiving ikaw. That is true beauty. O pamatiin nyo bilang music. May mga music nga naganami ka. Pero may mga music yan nga nagalaway, hindi mo batasan. O art, tanaw ko asang movie bala. Anong best movie? Anong best movie? Ano? Mistresses? Agaway sang bana? Ano nang best movie mo? Sinong best actor? Sinong best actress? Ang best actress ito nga naghibi? Pero ka pang agaw sang hindi iya. Komentary ko lang na kay ginakontrast ko ang beauty iya nga gusto sang aton ginong Heso Kristo. That's why ang definition sang beauty is like this. It shows the mystery of Christ. It makes a person religious, good. That's why ang kofradiya de la Virgen and Panay ari sila, beauty man na. In charge sila sang beauty beauty nga naga-help sa aton to meditate on the beauty of God and the goodness of God. Wala ko kailangan, wala ko kasi linga, hindi na kita mag-appreciate sa ibang nga beauties. Pero gina-distinguish ko lang nga ang narrative sa beauty of the world is distinct from the definition of the beauty of God. Kagangin unleash ang Diyos nga beauty is the beauty that manifests His power and his attributes, not against him and against his purpose, but always in line with his purpose. That's why we appreciate beauty. Nagambal ni si Ratzinger, the world may not be saved by truth, kaya damo na subong fake news. The world may not be saved by love, kaya damo na subong gailinaway. Siling niya, but I guess the world will be saved by beauty. Because when you see beauty, may nagakatouch sa imo. Magahinulusul ka. Gameditate ka. Most especially when the liturgy is beautiful. Ang liturgy na itong beautiful, nagasaka, ga, 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 ano ang atong soul mag-worship sa Diyos. That's why we make our church beautiful. Not, look, not, not extravagant but beautiful, and choir, and songs, and arts, beautiful, kay nagadala sa aton palapit sa Diyos. Again, it's difficult to save the world by truth. It's difficult to save the world now by love. But there's one way that the world will be saved. When people start to appreciate true beauty, which is religious beauty, and specifically, liturgical beauty. Kita ninyo kung mag-attend ka mo sang misa, na may beautiful music, gano, pag pauli mo, satisfied ka, fulfilled ka. We long for this beauty and ultimately we'll see the beauty of the face of God in the beatific vision. God bless you. Please all stand. Brothers and sisters, let us now present to God the needs of the world and the needs of our community. Lord, let your people come closer to that beauty which the world cannot give, actually, but you only can give because of your logos, pathos, and ethos. We may be able to live up to this beauty and appreciate this beauty now and in the life to come. This we ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The liturgy of the Eucharist.